hey you guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to install a glueless tea part wig this wig today is provided by af sister wigs and i y'all i like i'm in love with this wig i wanted to keep it for myself but i'm like i'm gonna stop being selfish with all the hair anyway you guys seen what it came with an adjustable bed and a cap and i'm really gonna show you guys how to do it without having to glue anything down Fresh out of the box, this wig was bomb. It really didn't do no shedding, and it's usually expected to shed with curly hair. It came with the cap and adjustable band. You already see it; it's an adjustable band in there. So what I did was I went ahead and applied makeup to the wig, well to the lace, and then I cut the lace off. When I say glueless, y'all, I really mean no glue, no holding spray, no gel, nothing. You need to be able to pull it off and on. And a lot of my clients work or are in school, so stuff like that is really easy for them to do. So that's why I try to provide glueless stuff. I'm not the best at glueless, but I'm telling y'all, this is very beginner friendly. So all I did really was sit it on her head. And sorry if the camera angles look crazy, y'all. But I just sat it on her head, and I'm going to get ready to swoop her edges. Again, edges are... They're not necessary, but a lot of my clients love them. But I'm doing simple ones so they can know how to keep up with them when I'm not around. Because with glueless, you just want to make it as easy as possible. Being that this is a T-part wig, you're not going to have a lot of parting space on the side. That's why I tried to part out super thin hair for the edges. Y'all, it's I love this wig. I'm not even going to sit here and cap. I usually don't like T-parts, but I actually love this wig from the texture to the part and everything. Because in the front, it had a little bit more parting space than a regular T-part would. But yeah, I'm telling y'all, this is this is a great wig. Y'all should really try it. I want one, but I'm scared of that color on myself. So that's why I was like, yeah, I just can't do this wig. I feel like it's gonna look horrible on me. But I really recommend y'all go try it. So she did want a little extra security, so I did go through and put a little bit of holding spray. As y'all can see, it was not a lot. It was literally just a little bit to hold her off to the next day. Because she had to go take a test, and we needed her to be able to, like, we don't need that little wig sitting on the side of the table because she's stressed so much. <laughs> but, y'all, really a simple install. I tell a lot of people, if you cannot wear it glueless, just put some holding spray down. Tie a bandana down so you get to where you need to go. And that's it. Thank you. 
this hair is really a 10 out of 10. She had it in for a couple of days. And she's even said she's loved it so far. And a lot of my clients are rough on hair. So if I hear one of them say that they love it, then that means it gotta be some good hair. So we're just finishing up the look and all I did was apply makeup on the part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And go grab y'all a wig. Because this one is one. And comment below if y'all want to see more videos or what type of videos y'all want to see me do.